we counting engagement as the overall engagement? Because sure, if I make five posts, let's say they all get, let's just say, keep the number, number simple, 10 likes each post, that's 50 likes. So you could say that my engagement is 50, let's just call it points, 50 points, versus one post that gets 30. 30, right? So then you could also say that, aha, I have beat your engagement because mine is 30 on that one post versus 10. 10 on five different posts. And so the question is, well, which one grows it more? And the answer is honestly neither. I mean, because like, yeah, there's, um, <laughs> it's not, like, it's not. I believe the word you for is both. No, the thing is, the thing is. So, so honestly, I just expect the teacher to go. Neither. <laughs> because you have to realize there is no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But... Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your button. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary V, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. This morning we had a, a meeting from 7 to 9, and then another meeting from 9 to 11, and then I just went and grabbed lunch real quick, and then now we got something coming up at 2, and then webinars at 3 and 4, and so it's non-stop, man. Living the life of a busy man. Yeah, pretty much. Just, I mean, just the coolest part of, yeah. I really, I'll be honest, I, I had no expectation of you even Yeah, man. No, right. that's, that's what I love to do. It's, uh, it's, it's fun, man. Um, I mean, that's like kind of the whole reason that I do my, do. yeah, do my social media stuff. I mean, we don't sell anything. We don't make money off of it. It's just to kind of pay it forward. And I should set that a random stapler? Concept for me to wrap my mind around still. Because I'm, I'm yeah. thinking about trying to do that within, you know, it's hard to do that because real estate, you're essentially, you know, you're trying to sell people wanting to buy a home or yeah. allow us an opportunity to list your home. and. Yeah, and that's and that's different. Like as you build as you build your brand there, it'll be something that you can do on on top of all that. Yeah. As a realtor, like with what I do with with life insurance, I don't need to do it through social media just because of the system that we've built that's enabling us to do it in the in our systems like the way we sell yeah. with what you're doing like so much of that does have to become it does, there's no way to like separate it from your personal brand and like all that so yeah. but i think one thing I've, I've seen realtors do very well with is just like creating and i've talked about this a million times but i always use the real estate example when i talk about it, is this whole like idea of like and like getting as narrowly focused on a niche as you can like that's yeah. been our success in insurance is we're extremely, extremely narrow in the niche of people that we serve. And, um, life yeah, with life insurance, but like within the people that we actually sell to, like it's extremely narrow. And by doing that, we've been able to build all these systems around that particular person. So like, yeah. let's just say like in real estate, if you want to do like first time, first -time home buyers, yeah, that's like actually that's, what I'm trying to focus on. Yeah. So first time home buyers, but then even like try to go like even more narrow, like first time home buyers in the east side of town or like, you know, first time home buyers downtown or first time home buyers, you know, like if you can become an expert in an area, it, man, it sets you up for success. Yeah. Because there's so many people that I know that when stuff comes up in conversation and they're like, oh, uh, yeah, we're trying to buy our first house over on the east side of town. I'm like... Well, Jesus, you need to call it Charlie because yeah. that's all he does is first time home buyers. These, you know, like, and become that authority in that. Um, the nice thing about that, too, is like when you choose, when you get to choose, like, you, you get to choose who you want to work with. So, like, why not work with the kind of people that you just enjoy being around, you know? And first time home buyers, I would think would be a pretty cool one um, it's, it's... going through that process. I mean, there's probably some frustrations with dealing with first time home buyers, but. 
it's well, exciting. Well, the market where that a lot of them are in under two hundred thousand mm-hmm. is going so quickly. They don't have a choice of okay. Well, I want to. Yeah. I tell people if you want to sleep on it, you're not going to sleep in it. Yeah. I guess my biggest question, yeah. obviously I had a few, was yeah. Love content. It. You know, yeah. how, how do you guys come up with content day in and day out that just gets people to, um, to turn to you? Because obviously, yeah, you know, I mean, it's six months has been crazy. It's just um, being intentional about it. Like, we're constantly thinking about it. Um, like, I'll see different things and... Other than that, man, it's just, it's just kind of like when an idea hits, just writing it down and, and making something out of it and not like second guessing it. The biggest thing I've learned is like, no one ever remembers a bad post, like ever. No one's ever like, hey, I mean, they remember all the TJs, but, <laughs> but none of mine. <laughs> but uh, like, no one's ever like sitting around going like, hey, did you see that post Tyler did two two Saturdays ago? Like, it was terrible. You know, like. Cause there's so much, there's so much yeah. Going like on, there's, they don't have time. Yeah, to, like if yeah. they're just scrolling, and if there's one that they that is particularly not great, like, okay. yeah. Uh, but I think people are crippled by that. Like people think that like, oh, I've got like every post has to be so perfect. Like, just being very upfront, I actually struggle with anxiety. Mm-hmm. So like coming into a setting like this, yeah. you know, potentially, okay, I might be on camera or video, mm-hmm. like, made me a little anxious coming yeah. in, but I'm like, you know, this is, this is no. what it takes to, mm-hmm. to grow, to, to be authentic. And yeah. that's what I'm, I'm trying to learn how to, um, convey. That's why I put my, you know, on my bio for, yeah. for Instagram and my profile. This is my story. So mm-hmm. I am, I'm trying to pay off debt yeah. just like you are. Um, yeah. First time home buyers, my wife and I bought last year for the first time. Yeah. So, you know, trying to see what you and then Gary V and a lot of other guys, how you connect with people. Like yeah. so many people in different mm-hmm. walks of life, it seems, yeah. to connect with each and every one of them, which is... Yeah, I mean, well, first thing I would say is that, like, I would have never been able to know that you were nervous or anything like that. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah, at all like well, definitely com- your presence is very commanding um, I don't know what it is about social media but for me like I'm able to connect with people so much more on social media than in real life like really? the idea of going to a networking event is like my version of hell like yeah. like I literally would rather do anything in the world like I'd rather go roof houses all day <laughs> like it's just horrible but and connecting with people on social media I just, um, I don't know, like even just meeting people like face to face, like even this is more uncomfortable than me getting on Instagram Live right now with a thousand people on it. Um, no, I mean 100% because, and I don't know if it's, because I'm extremely, we can't figure it out if it's like introverted or just like, <laughs> it's not, it's not really introverted because I'm confident. I just, I don't know, I'm just weird with, I'm just weird with people. Friend.